Hi, today is Holy Monday and I want to give a short reflection on a passage where Jesus clears the temple and what does it mean for us in the call to radical righteousness. If we look at this familiar passage, just before Jesus cleared the temple was his triumphant entry into Jerusalem where children and people were shouting Hosanna, Hosanna. They were praising Jesus for what he was doing, entering Jerusalem. But just moments later, he was flipping over tables in the temple courts. He was driving away vendors who were selling animals. And the chief priests and the teachers and the Pharisees were all very angry with what Jesus did. Why is this such an important incident? And what does it mean for us in looking at our own personal lives today? So one observation from the text is in verse 15. But when the chief priests, so note chief priests is in the plural form, which when you think of it, there should only be one chief priest. But there were multiple chief priests because there was a corruption setting into the religious system of that day, where they had multiple chief priests based on who pays the most money and they want that position, that power. And secondly, vendors were selling their, their animals, selling all the stuff in the temple outer courts. And this temple outer courts was actually meant for the court of Gentiles, where Gentiles who are non-Jews, who come into the temple to these outer courts and they could pray and worship God. But the problem is, vendors were selling there in the outer courts and they were not letting the Gentiles come to worship God. That's why Jesus was so angry when he walked in and he saw them all selling and he realized that the temple was meant for prayer, for worship of the Most High God but they have turned it into a den of robbers. God was so angry with them. Jesus was. And when we think about today in light of the COVID situation, our whole lives are being turned upside down, the way we run our lives, the way we do church, the way we go to work. And there's so many worries on what is going to happen in the future. And if we just look at the aspect of our lives being turned around, the way our life is changing right now, is Jesus also turning away, changing our way of life? Is He turning the tables in our lives to help us reconsider what righteousness really means for us today. Is there something in our lives that Jesus is calling us to repent? And is He using the situation of the current times to reveal what's in our hearts? Is there a corruption that is setting within our hearts that we need to repent from? And as I end the devotion, there are a few reflection questions that I could offer. Firstly, what is your relationship with God like today? Is there something in your life that Jesus is telling you that you need to change, you need to repent, you need to change the way you act? If there is, don't hesitate. Change whatever that is not pleasing to God in your life. Answer God's wake up call. The second thing is, how are we sharing this need for repentance, this need for radical righteousness with the family, our friends, or with your children or your grandchildren. Is there someone in your life that you can tell on the way they've been living or the way they've been behaving that needs to change? Who can you call to radical righteousness? So as we reflect on this Holy Monday, let us consider also how Jesus may be overturning the tables in our lives and leading us to a call to radical righteousness. God bless.